They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. I'd like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the lunar surface. You do have to be. All right, you do have to be. Uh, Rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three paces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you. And about two or three or maybe four easy paces can bring you to a fairly smooth uh, stop. Like a football player, you just have to put out to the side and cut a little bit. So-called kangaroo hop does work, but it seems so your forward ability is not quite as good. But uh, get rather tiring after several hundred. But this may be a function of the suit as well as uh, lack of gravity force here. I noticed in the soft spots where we have footprints uh, nearly an inch deep that the soil is very cohesive and it will retain a uh, slope of probably 70 degrees uh, on the side of the footprint. Buzz is making his way around the lamb, photographing it from various angles, uh, looking at its condition on all sides. Uh, right in this area, there are two craters. Uh, the one that's right in front of me now, as I look off in about the uh, 11 o'clock position from spacecraft, about uh, 30 to uh, 35 feet across. Roger up. In the foreground, Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. I hope you're watching uh, how hard I have to hit this into the ground uh, to the tune of about five inches, Houston. Roger. It almost looks wet. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, you've got about 10 minutes left now. Prior to commencing your EVA termination activities, over. Doctor, I understand. It's marvelous. Absolutely fantastic. The first person on the moon. No, it's just too much. I, I can't get over it. I don't know how to put it, you know, but uh, it's a most marvelous thing. It's a miracle. This is formidable. I don't know what... But we are really thrilled. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world. I think it's great, really great for the whole world. This, this means a lot to all the countries, not just for America. And being out of it and being closer to the moon makes us realize that we're all human beings together. I hope this brings unity amongst all countries. And I just hope it won't help you from solving all internal problems you may have. Well, I think it's a waste of a lot of money that could be used for something else. They holler about the people are being on starvation. This huge amount of money Americans spend to see what the moon is like, what's for? It's disgusting. It's a pity they haven't got something else to do. Be, be better if they'd done something for the oldens. What if Columbus had decided he couldn't get the money from Isabella? Where would That's we be? That's one of God's celestial planets. And he put it in the sky for a purpose, and he didn't put it up for people to clutter up like they have the Earth. Myself, I'm really interested to see what's up there. And we must open all secrets that are opening to us throughout the ages. I think uh, that uh, the dream of the man from the beginning of the human race is coming now. Alone, 45 miles above the moon's surface, 
Michael Collins completed an orbit every two hours. He listened to the progress of the moonwalk and awaited the moment when his companions on the surface would lift off to rendezvous with him. For 30 times, he saw the Earth rise over the horizon of the moon. 12,000 miles of twilight, a line that divides night from day for three billion people on spaceship Earth. It is good to see the whole Earth, to see the Earth whole. Eagle had left the moon and returned to Colombia. Within this strange ship, two astronauts and a treasure. Triple sealed vacuum boxes of rocks and soil from the surface of the moon. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon. The age of the sun. How the moon was formed. How life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? Armstrong and Aldrin, with their precious load of moon rocks, 